Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the Algebra 1 concept of Solutions for Systems of Equations. This is standard A.3F in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 45 of the 2024 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got one function, this f of x equals negative 4x plus 8, so we have that in our slope-intercept form. It's a part of a system of linear equations, so we need two straight lines, but we don't know what the second equation is. All we know is that it has a different slope than the first equation. So what exactly does that mean? We don't even know what that is. And now I've got to identify whether the state, the state, which statement is true. Does the system have no solutions, one solution, two solutions, or infinite solutions? Well, let's draw what we know. So I know I've got this f of x equals negative 4x plus 8. And this is in my slope-intercept form. So I can actually graph this. Now I'm going to do this on the screen here rather than using the Desmos because I don't know what the other equation is. It'd be easier for me to just to draw one. So my slope is my m, negative 4, right? So we can do our rise over run, negative 4 over 1, right? That's my change in y over my change in x. And then I've got my b, which is 8. That's my y-intercept. So I can actually graph this. So let's just draw. And I'm going to make that a little bit less transparent there so I can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to draw a coordinate plane here. All right, so that works. Let's add some points here. And so I am going to make that blue. Or we'll make it green. There we go. Uh, what do I know? I know that my y-intercept is 8. So I'm going to count up 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Right there. Then I know my slope is down 4 because it's negative 4 over 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4 over 1. 1, 2, 3, 4 over 1. All right, so I've got this slope here. And then I'm going to go over 1 and then up 1, 2, 3, 4. I want to get that kind of a, so I can get it up, make it seem like a complete line here. So we're going to do this. And I'm just going to go through all of this here. All right, so there's my line. And it goes on infinitely in both directions. So we can kind of draw these little arrows here. It says now that there is another line, and it has a different slope. That's it. That's all we know. So I don't know what that is, so I'm just going to draw a different line there. Okay, so what do we know about this right here? Well, we know that we've got a intersection right there, okay? What if I don't do that? What if I draw another line and I purposefully make it down like here, right? Well, is that going to connect? Well, it doesn't look like it does right now, but that's because I haven't extended my green line. Remember, my green line goes on forever. So if I were to take my green line and connect it down here, you notice it will eventually connect. So all of these have a different slope, and that's why this is important. If it has the same slope, then guess what we're doing? If it has the same slope, we're just tracing over this green line again. It has infinite solutions. But if you have two lines that are a system of linear equations, it doesn't matter what you're drawing. So I'm just going to draw a horizontal line like this. Guess what? You are going to have, eventually somewhere, one intersection. So we know that if you have two lines in a system of equations, and the first function and the second function have different slopes, that's key you are going to exactly have one solution, no matter whether it's a steep slope, a shallow slope, it's negative, it's positive, somewhere these two lines will cross at one point, and you will have B, one solution, exactly.